What's up everyone? My name is Josh and welcome to Smoking Under Pressure. Today I got some St. Louis style ribs. I threw a little bit of honey, about a tablespoon. This honey's from Naughty Wood Barbecue and it's very delicious. And I also hit them heavy with some Suckle Busters Hog Waller. I've had them in this vacuum seal bag. Here's a tablespoon of honey, tablespoon of butter. And let's get them sealed up. Make sure you put it on the moist setting so it doesn't suck all the juices out. Get it all vacuum sealed up. And I like to attach some magnets I picked up from Home Depot. They're just a couple bucks. These help them from not floating. And then we grab it and throw it in the sous vide bag. Make sure the water's covered all the way on the top. There's no meat. Set it at 172 degrees and we're gonna do this for four hours. I'm gonna throw a chain meal over it. This is from a company I called Sous Vide Sinker. Works really, really good. I got it on Amazon. Okay, now we're gonna start cold smoking these with some Naughty Wood Barbecue Plum Pellets. Make sure you put the meat on wet. Your wet meat tracks smoke. And I'm gonna hit them with some Kinder's Prime Rib Rub. I like the savoriness this has. And make sure you get it all around and on both sides. I got some corn on the cob. I'm gonna throw it in the Stasher reusable silicone bag. I'm gonna hit it with some Grillmates Garden Vegetable Seasoning. I really like this seasoning a lot. And I'm gonna throw about a tablespoon of butter in here. And I'll show you a cool little trick right here. Take a vacuum seal bag, throw in the Stasher silicone bag seal it partially then vacuum seal it and that will suck all the air out and actually cause a nice tight seal on the silicone bag now i'm going to put it in my pressure cooker get the lid locked down and set it for high pressure for three minutes okay one hour cold smoke look at that nice little smoke bath definitely getting a lot a lot of flavor now I'm gonna set the Gorilla Grills to 350 degrees. We're gonna to try to finish these hot and fast. This is about 45 minutes later, 350 degrees. Got the color I like, seasoning set in. Here's a reduction I made out of the purge. I just added a little bit of brown sugar, a little bit of ketchup and rendered it down and it's perfectly good barbecue sauce. Throw in my corn and here we are about 15 minutes later. Nice and glazed up. These are ready to come off. Here they are on the plate. Got a nice bend to them. Nice fill of tenderness. So let's go ahead and slice into these. And she cuts like butter. Not falling apart. Perfect, perfect texture for me. And here's a money shot. Not too much of a smoke ring because there's such little time in the smoker, but nice and juicy and good feel. Honestly, these were some of the best ribs I've tried. I, I really was surprised. I did not think sous vide would do this. I've smoked plenty of ribs completely on the smoker, but these had a clean bite through. Very good rendered fat at that 172 degrees. I'm a big fan and I'll be doing these again. If you like these videos, please like them and subscribe and show some support to this new channel. And to all your veterans out there, have a blessed Memorial Day. Thank you for your services. And anybody that's lost anybody that served this country, thank you for everything you've done.